Hey everyone, I just wanted to do a quick video here about how to register a P.O. box in another state. Um, I'm just now leaving the post office and wanted to do it while it's fresh on my mind. Um, I'm in Ohio and we're going to be moving to North Carolina and I have a P.O. box in Ohio. Um, it doesn't really matter if you have one or not um, existing, but um, I needed to have one in North Carolina as well. And when you apply online, which is your starting point, um, you can't get your actual P.O. box number online uh, when you're starting. What happens is they send you a message telling you that um, that you have to go into that post office and provide two forms of ID for validation. Now obviously if you're in another state and you can't get out there, you know, that's that's not going to work for you and, and that's that's the case for me. I can't get out there for several more weeks and I need it now. Um, I'm a business owner and I'm trying to register my business in North Carolina so I'm ready. Uh, everything's ready and in place before I get there and trying to do my registration I, I wanted to make sure that I had a P.O. box on my my business licensing and uh, not having to use my personal home address. So I did a whole bunch of research yesterday and had a really really hard time trying to figure out a way around that like what what could I do um, without having to drive all the way down there and there's nothing on the uh, USPS website that I could find and I couldn't even find anything in forums or or anything like that that was useful I saw where some people had asked about it, but everybody kept saying, no, it's not doable. You're going to have to go there. And I'm like, there's got to be a way. So I went ahead and registered online for my P.O. box. And then I called that post office and spoke with the postmaster. And she informed me that I could go to my local post office here with the application that you have to print out and take with you and my two forms of ID and that the um, post office here could validate that and then would th be able to send that information to the post office in the other state. I was like, oh, okay, well, that's great. That makes sense. So I go to my local post office and the first guy that I talked to kind of shook his head at me and was like, I've never heard of that. I don't think we can do that. And thankfully, there was another lady there and he turned to her and asked her if she had ever heard of it. And she she was like, oh, yeah, yeah, we, we do that. Um, you know, I'll, I'll help you when I'm done with this person. So I'm like, oh, good. OK. So I talked to her and she she did the exact thing that the other postmaster suggested. She took my two forms of ID and my application and validated everything and um, called the postmaster in the other state and got the fax number. And then um, she faxed all that over and uh, gave me all my stuff back and said everything was, was confirmed and, uh, and then I went on my way. So they didn't give me a P.O. box then because they're not the ones issuing the P.O. box number. So I'm guessing that either I need to go home and check my USPS account to see if it's updated with a P.O. box number, or I may have to call that uh, postmaster back in the other state. Um, but all in all, it, it was pretty simple. There's just no information about it anywhere. And what I've discovered is that you're probably going to find some some post office employees that don't know 
about doing that or um, they're not sure so I would suggest if somebody's telling you no they can't do it keep asking until you find someone that can do it uh, because it's definitely doable so I hope that helps someone else um, they should definitely have this information on their website have a good day